Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Foxborough Varsity Boys Soccer Senior Night. Celebrating the seniors who have worked hard this season and others for the program. I will introduce, I have the pleasure of introducing now the seven seniors for recognition here this evening. First, at goalkeeper, four-year varsity player Derek Axon, joined at midfield by Michelle Fox, Steve Axon, and Brett Axon. They're hovering. Next, at midfield, number seven, Cam Barrera, joined by mother and father, Kelly and Tony Barrera. At attack, four-year varsity member, number nine, Matt Angelini, joined by Mark and Chrissy Angelini. At midfield, number 11, Jacob Tessier. Joined in midfield by Letitia and Josh Tessier. On the defensive back line, number 12, James Hollis, joined by Jim, Karen, and brother John. At the midfield position, number three, Alex McGarry, joined by Olivia Kim, David Chase, and Chloe McGarry. And anchoring the back line on the defensive end this season, number 17, Zach Raymond, joined by Michelle and Paul Raymond.
Folks, please give a big round of applause to your seven seniors for the Foxborough Varsity Boys Soccer Team this season. Thank you very much for all of your efforts during your Foxborough High career. And good luck to all that comes next. And good evening and welcome to Sam Burns Field as Foxborough's boys varsity soccer team gets ready to take on the Sharon Eagles. My name is Kevin Penders. I get the privilege of spending the next hour plus with Netta Jerry Penders. Hello, Netta. How are you, Kevin? Good I evening. Fine, thank you. How are you? Excellent. Great. Wonderful to be back here in the booth. It's been a month. A month. Do you I know how much stuff we have to talk about? Uh, we have a lot of we have a lot of colors to catch up on. Yes, undoubtedly. Uh, it is senior night here for the boys program, and uh, Foxborough taking uh, some time before the game to celebrate the seven seniors that will be um, coming to con having their high school career come to a conclusion at the end of the season, which we hope lasts. Beyond. Beyond. Uh, so just to give a quick shout out to those seven, uh, goalkeeper Derek Axon. Um, <coughs> let's see, uh, number 11, Jacob Tessier at the midfield. Uh, James Hollis, number 12. Uh, number nine, the leading goal scorer for the team this year and last, Matt Angelini. Uh, number three, Alex McGarry. Number 17, Zach Raymond. And number seven, Cam Barrera. And it was Those really great to have all their families here today as well, walk out to meet them in midfield. We did, yeah. That was great. It's a nice little tradition. They go out, boys go out there, they shuffle out there, reluctantly hand their mother a set of flowers, <laughs> and then uh, the dad gives them a nice they warm, hug them warmly. bro hug. They pose for pictures, and uh, and then we, have, we do have photos of them up and around the field here today in recognition and balloons and and Karen Hollis has a clinically significant big head, James. She does. Um, that is just enormous. So good for good for her and for them for getting into it. And again, the boosters showing such kindness and support of their seniors. The beautiful <laughs> banners hanging on the scaffolding of the what are these called? Bleachers. The, the stands. <laughs> bleachers. I was like the stands. Yeah. And right, their right. balloons and color-coordinated bouquets for each what, parent. What colors are they, Netta? Oh, they might actually represent the Foxborough colors. <laughs> oh. There are, there and is those would Lupin be? in there, yellow and... It's, first of all, I'm it's sorry, Vegas gold. gold. Vegas gold. The correct, the Foxborough color navy. is Vegas gold and navy. In fact, yes. we'll find a bouquet to get the actual... I hate, I hate to be the person right who had to correct you on that, but you no, know, I can see the bouquets clearly right now. Your color. There are yellow spray roses. There's delphinium. <laughs> there are shastas in there. There's a little sprig of greenery, actually called runculus. Did you know? Actually, no, that's a rose. No, that's is it's, that remus and runculus? <laughs> it's not. No. But okay. the bouquets are lovely and provided by Judy's Florist, who's also Judy's Village Flowers, who's also a local Foxborough business Support and does local business. beautiful job with individual bouquets and they last beautifully. So this is the uh, the last of three games for Foxborough on the regular season. I we, can't even believe, we haven't been together in a, well we've, <laughs> we're just gonna leave wow. that where it is. We haven't done this in a month. <laughs> we and haven't spoken together We haven't actually access. spoken to each other in a month. That's right. We've been saving it for this moment. That's right. Um, and so you, there's only three games left, and we only have two of them because we're not covering next Monday. Rats. So we have tonight and next Wednesday. Well, there's it's a good senior reason. senior night tonight and youth night next Wednesday. So big night's happening here big at the nights. turf. And the good news is that actually on the <laughs> – <laughs> You're going live. There it is. They, they, because th somehow you were funny enough already. Although I had to do the colors so I far. Thought he was, have you I thought he was switching off of us, being He's, like, "We're now bored." No, so we're gonna, right. That's, we're I, taking that is definitely air. what I heard I in thought, my headset. Huh, we're okay, going live we're going to live. cooking with Kevin. Sorry. Yes. No. Okay, it's, no I, we are live. I understand now. The, so. Yes, you're on. So Sharon taking the field uh, in Fox, white. In in their road white. That's right. Uh, Foxborough is still working out their last minute 
discussions. As I said, we have three games left on our season, and <laughs> I'd love to tell you that we're going to end easy, but we're not. Foxborough having to take on tonight Sharon, who beat Oliver Ames earlier this week. I can't week. believe it. I know. They're and, uh, then, and then gets the privilege of taking on OA and Canton. We've been on the road for a month. I know. And I don't want to say that there's a direct connection here, but um, the boys went just out. Don't. Uh, well, just, I, don't just, just, just don't say it. Don't say Hush. it. I just don't say okay, it. I won't even move put, on. We'll see what happens. Gentlemen later are on. taking the field. Our gentlemen are taking the field, uh, led by our keeper Derek Axon, senior. Matt Angelini. We'll get through who everybody is as they start to take their <laughs> positions for you. But right Fo now they're just a scrum. They're, right now they're a huddle. Fox it's a huddle. huddle. Yes, it's. Oh. A, Hug fest. They it's, love it when they oh hug. Oh boy. So it's uh they're gonna Hugging go Fox Bowl is gonna go from our left, the viewers left to their right. Sharon in the road whites is gonna go from their right to their left. Um, the intrepid Foxborough Cable Access intern did not get the roster for the Sharon team. Because the intrepid intern was taking another child to their soccer but practice. The, but the winter intern managed to actually dig right. that up. The handoff so, intern? Yeah, there let's it is. Let's focus on the soccer. Let's let's do that. So at the top of the key for Foxborough, number nine, Matt Angelini. Number 24, Alex Penders. And also up top, number 11, Jacob Tessier. In the midfield, we have number three, J John Hollis. Number seven, Cam Barrera. Number three, uh, yeah, number three, number, where did I put, where did I put? John. Alex McGarry is 13. I announced him at three, as three during senior night. Oops. Uh, and then on the back line, we have James Hollis, Marco Puccini, Zach Raymond, and Andrew Linehan in net, as we have for most of this season. It's Derek Axon, the senior. On the kickoff, Foxborough pressing early. Foxborough having won the early set uh, in Sharon at a 5-2 to two total. Sharon clearly would like to get their hands on Foxborough here to even that series home and away. Wow, that was an impressive kick from their goalkeeper with Brady a Daler. followed by a massive header. And Foxborough looking to capitalize on an early possession in the Sharon end. Sharon quickly working to move that back out. Broken up by Barrera. Barrera to Penders. Penders not able to control. Back to Sharon. Sharon on the move. And one of the things I'll say, Netta, having watched the um, away game uh, for the Sharon-Foxborough matchup, I think you'll see, even though the 5-2 score, um, I think the 5-2 score is not indicative of what you're going to see out of these Sharon Eagles today. They um, are going to move the ball a lot better. They seemed like they were slowed up by playing on natural grass, which is their home field. But that did seem to be an issue for them. So I'm trying to actually get the Sharon players' numbers here with my handy-dandy binoculars. That's impressive. And so far, here's the yes, players that I've seen. So I don't have a one, uh, but I, I see that there is a one on the field, but I don't have them. Okay. Ball quick in. Axon with the save. Fantastic Off save. Off the corner. Axon letting everybody move up, looking to make the clear. Taking the time to control. Ball is up, all the way up to the Sharon back line. Penders giving chase, not there. Now the ball, again, down the line for Sharon. Nope. Penders giving chase, not able to possess. Sharon dumping the ball into the back line for Foxborough. Raymond trying to hold it up. He does. Ball slides across the crease, whoa, high, and out. You're killing me with this. Please get your papers off of my papers. Thank you. Adam Landstein with the long bid. Unsuccessful goal kick for Foxborough. Axon to Raymond. Raymond possessing. Gonna bring the ball up. He does. Let's one ride long. Penders with the fake header, I guess. All the way back to the keeper. Uh, and Brady Daler, <coughs> who managed to keep a shutout against OA. I don't think we can emphasize that enough. That's a really impressive showing by this Sharon team. Ball quickly up the line, 22, Nicholas Rincon. 
It's going to be a throw in for Sharon. Long throw, broken up by McGarry. One touch. <laughs> Everyone on the ground. By Hollis. Hollis sends it up to the back line of Sharon. Tessier and Penders giving chase, not able to get there. Linehan looking to contain number four, Landstein. Switch field. Rincon, header, Hollis. Angelini with the ball. One touch by Barrera, back to Angelini. Angelini all the way back to Pacini. And then over to Axon. And Derek likes that play, actually. He likes to reset his, like to, his they, back line. They do, they like to build from the back. And paying attention so they can actually see the whole field. <coughs> Raymond. <laughs> Jinx. To Tessier, Tessier turning. He feeds it up to McGarry, McGarry. Looking for space, he has some, he feeds it to Angelini, man on Angelini, quickly broken up. Amy in the bullpen car showing up for the trainer. Fortunately, Medical golf cart. Oh, that was a little bit header of a by header, Penders, header scrum. Header by Angelini, ball out by Sharon. Ball backer, quickly yes, to get the ball, ball in play. Again. I mean, what have they been doing for the last <coughs> month for exercise, for goodness sake? by Hollis, uh, playing the Wii. <laughs> <laughs> I think McGarry, that ages you. I think I, Wii I, is before, I think it's Xbox. I, I might be PlayStation. Or Fortnite. Yeah, Fortnite, that's true. Oh, here goes Angelini coming Matt. through, broken up by Sharon on the defense. That ball rolls long back to Pacini. Move that chair right out of my way. They've, like, they've remade the, the set while I've been gone. Well, it's been a there's long time. All these obstacles. They put everything back where I moved them I know. from. There's glass panes in the, <laughs> in the... There's windows. There's screens. What is happening here? Raymond bringing the ball up still, not challenged by Sharon. Well, it's interesting. They kind of are letting themselves ball come rolls up off to midfield number 10, James Zeng. before He's the anybody starts to do anything. captain for this Sharon team. Quick one touch by Miguel Visco, Visconcielos. Oh, nicely broken up. We're going to have... PK? No, no. No, no, no. That's a call on them. Oh. Spikes high. There it is. Here, we're going to see it right here. Oh, thank God. Melanie Comes Pai in. was paying attention. <laughs> it's a nice slide across. Box is open. You got to grab. You got to... Oh, well... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think that's probably nothing. Uh, well, it is something. It's our ball. Well, that's excellent. And that ball... Number four for Sharon, number here, Adam Landstein. <clears throat> Kid has wheels, man. That's the third time he's just zooped it well, up from he, that He spot. zooped it, yes. He just went zoop. Josh Dupanic, Josh Dupanic. yes, zoop. Here comes the throw in from number one, who I don't know who that is, it's not on our list. Um, so apologies to number one, but good throw in. Headed by Andrew Linehan, back out of play. Not only were they gone for a month, they added two guys while we were gone. That's so exciting, I can't wait to talk about them. Just, just, just there's your teaser. Stay tuned for more. And another throw in by Sharon. That ball up the line by McGarry. Possessed by number 23, Tyler Goodman. Cone with it, back to Landstein, to Zhang. Oh, cuts right through. Rincon is there, I believe, 22, right? I'm nice the right slide. Play to the right guy. With Nicholas Rincon. Derek. Derek gets out there to maintain possession. Ball out to Pacini. Pacini, one touch to Barrera, back to Pacini. Interesting. Another set to Angelini, Angelini looking to possess. Sharon coming on to him, he cuts to the middle. He's got Linehan streaking down the side. Here we go. Can he possess? He does. He tucks it in to Hollis. Who is there? Nice work. Hollis with the cross, oh, broken up by defended. Sharon. Nice bid though. I was really expecting the ball backer to step in there and punch <laughs> it into play. I thought he was one of ours. I mean, he is in spirit, but and there's McGarry with that uniform. McGarry and Linehan both combined to steal that ball back. 
down the line to Tessier. Looking Tessier for Penders. looking for, he's got a cross, it's there. Penders with a header, oh. broken up. Off the crossbar, and, Penders and oh. collides with the keeper. And that's gonna be a kick for. All right, well that was Brady, a great play. Brady, was, da Brady was, Daler there, that but was great the, soccer. the crossbar being the keeper's best friend on a nice cross by Tessier here. Beautiful, Penders right in the right spot. Penders with the head. Nice head. No, and and off, the, the, it's off the crossbar and his hands, and then down. Oh no, he was right there, and he was so definitely brave, there. And then Penders <laughs> comes colliding in. It's an interesting, interesting move there. He's trying. Well, as the parent of goalkeepers, Puccini we with the do feel for that, the yeah. talent of that goalie. Well, and, and for anybody who's been charged Run into by, by a, a six-foot-five train. That's Alex making the most of his um, second-hand opportunistic efforts to score this season. Had one in Stoughton. Handball. That's a handball on Tessier. That's going to come Dude, back I got here that to call. the line. You're very good. <laughs> it's only taken 15 years. That's all years. I'll say is you're very good at picking that up. Right? Yes. Wow. And, and that was without the binoculars. That's right. That was with just basic old glasses. Just piece guffas. I love that word. I know you do. I know you do. I said it just for you. Tessier with a touch, not able to maintain possession. Sharon sends it back to midfield. McGarry on the steal. McGarry into contact, broken up by number eight. Where is that? Adam Eastman. Angelini comes away with it. He takes it down the far side. Broken up again by Adam Eastman. Up to number 10, James Zhang, their captain. And Netta, I don't know if you've looked at this yet to notice, very heavy junior and senior team. I believe there's only one sophomore on the roster. So I did notice a, that. A veteran presence for this Sharon Eagles team who are possessing well here in the first half. We are inside the 30th minute. And they're looking for space. Everyone is really looking for space quite well. You'd think they were John Denver. Andrew Linehan. Now no one gets that Hollis. joke either. I know. I'm going to give you all the 1960s references tonight, and I wasn't That's even not around fair. there. Why? I wasn't born. I wasn't born here. Yes, I know. It's okay. Oh, header. <clears throat> oh, whistle. Whistle. Rincon. Uh, Raymond called for the push on Rincon. Shove call. It was a uh, just a uh, just a gentle tap. He was just helping him from getting <clears throat> hurt coming back down. It was just a down. gentle tap. That's it. Eastman to take the kick. Great. What I love about this time, actually, Kevin, is that oh, really? 5.30 <laughs> yeah. allows a lot more fans to be in the stands. Yeah, we haven't, nice. had a lot we of, haven't had a lot of We haven't fans. had a lot of night games. We, we haven't had the opportunity for fans to really take advantage of what really has been impressive soccer by They're these also young men. Axon to Raymond again on the near side. Peers are coming in. Siblings are been he have been here tonight. J nice to the, see. The JV squad's down below. Yep, they're Cheering watching. Them on. That ball's going to roll. That ball's going to roll all the way back to Axon. Axon's got it now. Possession for a clear. And you saw how much defensive help he had just then. So the defense w was really ball quickly to protecting Linehan. the defensive line. Don't say as they should. I know it's their job. I, I'm not going to say that. I wasn't going to say that. would make me sound critical. <laughs> <laughs> Tessier all the way back to Pacini on the switch field. Right, it's not corrective color, it's just color. I, I'm amazed that you, I thought you, when you started to talk about, you know, this time of night and oh, the I was hues. Gonna say that. I was going to say the hues we gonna, of the trees. I, I thought we were going to hit foliage. I, I really and then didn't I thought expect you were going us to, to I actually did. keep talking about soccer and how nice it was that people could the come to see it. The foliage is lovely. Quick release here. Off a but I thought that was too soon. Dead ball violation by Foxborough. Ball quickly up to number six, Miguel. Visconcelos. Again, Landstein on the move. He tries to cross it wide, broken up by Cam Barrera and James Hollis. Now I actually have to pay attention. This season I've been butchering which Hollis is on the, on the field. Now they're both on the field together. I think it's wonderful. I think it's great, but now I have to know which one's which. Number three. Thank you. <laughs> There's a third one? No. no. 
Long ball quick James is to 12. Angelini on the wing. And the, and the Angelini way on the move. I love watching him get moving. James it's, Hollis is a senior. He's also number 12. He touches it to himself again on the outside. Tries to cross it in. Not there. Kevin, that's how you remember. Yes, Netta. James Hollis is number 12, and yes. he's also a senior. He might be a junior, too, for all I know. He's not. Well, he might be James Hollis Jr. Oh, my God. Wow. There's your obscure there reference. There has not been enough coffee for this. No, I've, no, no. That's why you're getting this. Out of play is out of bounds. Uh, someone just tweeted us, I wasn't born here, by the way, <laughs> in reference to your very old John Denver comment. Oh, that ball unfortunately gets behind Cambrera on the feed from Hollis. And Sharon on the run, trying to take advantage of it, broken up by Pacini. That'll be a Sharon throw. Time is ticking fast, man. <laughs> We're going to do that existential talk in the first no, no, half. No, no, I just was saying Quick ball quickly. into the middle, broken up by Linehan. Why are you Successier. shouting? I'm excited. I know, but you don't have to shout. I, well, you know, I want them to know I'm excited. Okay. Pender's on the run. Not there. Well... It's a good also, attack. It's well, a good attack. Pulled up, McGarry so he didn't quickly squished the goalie. Well, that's because he squished him the last time. McGarry I quickly. Squish you. Foxborough still keeping it in the Sharon end, but not maintaining possession at this moment. Here it comes right quickly. Thank you to Jake, Jacob Tessier. Tessier nice look over, trying to get over to Angelini. Not there. Broken up. Fortunate one touch by the Sharon defender. Again, that's number eight, Adam Eastman. Calling his name and number a lot here so far in the first half. A couple guys warming up over on the Foxborough bench. See who's on their way in in a moment. Looks like uh, Predu, Ryan Flaherty, and Elijah Carvalho limbering. Quick in ball. Broken up by Linehan with a good header. Oh, a one time. By Easily. number six, Miguel Vasconcelos. Der Derek Axon. But it was a, the one times are really hard to time. Um, you know, it's it's you gotta. It has to be a perfect kick. And there was a lot of spin on that ball there too. So was. and spinny balls become slippery. Spinny balls become slippery. Yes, we're gonna get T-shirts with that. <laughs> we are. Tessier, oh. again, the magnet for the ball steal there. He is. He's looking to the middle. He's got McGarry. McGarry, oh, slide by Zhang. Breaks it up to Eastman. How come that's not a handball if you touch it with your hand? Because he didn't touch it with his hand. But what if he did? Then it would be a handball. Would it be a sliding handball? It would be a, just a handball. Would it be a touch sliding handball? It doesn't matter handball? how acrobatic your handball is. It's still a handball. So which call It's a non-handball when you don't touch the ball to your hand. OK. But would you be called for a sliding tackle or a handball? Uh, in, in which case there, neither happened. Angelini with the ball. I need answers. I want to know I, if they're ranked. I, I am refusing to play this theoretical oh, game with you. I love theoretical soccer I know. games. It's Here comes number four from Sharon. Passes back to number one, uh, the unnamed Bendito. <laughs> Barrera breaks it up over to McGarry. McGarry trying to get something going. He hits Angelini. Angelini looking, looking, dribbling. He's got Hollis. Hollis has got company. Back to McGarry. McGarry. Oh. Fighting Gary through. Love that. Beautiful. Chips it over. Oh, but too Rats. far. Penders giving chase. Not able to catch up to the leading feed. But again, terrific footwork you see on Alex McGarry. Is in the right place at the right time. Phenomenal shoes. Substitutions coming on. Out goes Penders. In comes Carvalho. Look, 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 goes, you're missing, you're uh, missing you the call replay. it. I'm trying oh, to call the it. replay. He's he did it again. <laughs> That's okay. my replay. There it is. It's fabulous. No, he actually just drove through or ran through like five guys. Well, I, right, McGarry. Yes, he did. It was fabulous. Uh, Flaherty in and Predu in. Out go. And number 14 Hollis, in. Is that James Hollis is out now. And Jacob Tessier is out now. John Hollis is in. Flaherty. Yes, John Hollis that? is in. I said Flaherty. And AJ. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. I I, oh, my goodness. High sticking. High acrobatic kick. Not connecting. 
fabulous shoes there ball also. Ball through to Rincon, Excellent. slide by slide. Hollis, oh dear. which should be clean. He got all ball. He did. Prady Starting to get a little battling physical through out here. up to Angelini on a sky ball. Can he possess? He cannot, Sharon Ball. Hard one to catch onto there. Prado with the header, reset up to Angelini. No, I mean you realize but how to Barrera. Barrera punches are. it up the side to Angelini. Sharon possessing. Refs letting a lot of body stuff go. A lot of body stuff. A lot of body bumping. <laughs> there is a little hustling. It's a physical game. Well, some refs don't it like that. It is a contact sport. McGarry nice with a switch field. field all the way across to Linehan. Linehan giving chase, not able to maintain. Number one, kicking it out of bounds. Foxborough ball on the near side. Just over 21 minutes left in the first half. Nil-nil here at Sam Burns. Throw in now by Barrera. Nice long throw. Headed by Hollis right across the goal mouth. Foxborough not there to capitalize. And Brady Daler. Brady Daler with possession. Wow, fantastic and clear. Excellent boot. Sharon not... Uh, no, not they wait. They, 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 they're all conserving their energy. They're being very strategic about how they're actually playing. They're not... They've all listened to their mothers. They're, they're, not, they're hydrated. They had bananas. Hydrated. And That's they're right. saving they their energy. Snack. That's good. Maybe took a little rest. No, but meaning <laughs> that they're not just they're not just running willy and nilly. They're just they're they're really being strategic about when they're going to turn on the gas or not. Is is it willy and nilly if you run in both directions? I think it might or be willy just nor willy nilly if you run in one direction and never come back. I think it's run willy fast. Oh boy, that's I'm not. Nope. Thank you. <laughs> that was funny. It, no, 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 it was not. I don't find it funny. We're moving on. Throw in. Prado up the line to Carvalho, headed out of play by Sharon. So up the line again by Foxborough. They just this keep going be, up. Yes, exactly. Second runner up. We go to the spot where the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and whistle for something. Because we oh, have a new sub. market entry coming in. Substitution. Who is coming into the game now? Let's see. Out goes McGarry. Is that? In comes. In comes. I believe that's Number one. Tessier. No. Number, says number one. No, it's 11. Oh, 11. Test here. Thank Ball you. through again to Daler on the throw. Daler maintains possession, rolls it out. Broken up by oh. Ryan Flaherty. That no is whistle. a Foxborough ball. Excellent hustle play there by Ryan. Passes the ball to Barrera for the long toss. Here it comes. Let's look at it on the replay. See number four. Uh, Adam Lansting broken up there by Flaherty, rolls out of bounds, and he collapses on the play. Another one straight through to Daler. Just Foxborough, that easily. Foxborough getting some opportunities there, unable to put a foot on it to uh, finish it out, but the ball is around and the keeper. Daler is unflappable. Both, are, both keepers are seniors. They are unflappable under pressure. Barrera with a head. Which I know Puccini with a touch. Nice shoes. Puccini breaks it up. This light blue. Run a hand to Hollis turn. and then back and now possessed again. Nice turn by Sharon. A lot of footwork tonight you're seeing. A lot of footwork. Excellent. It is soccer. And stick with itness. There's supposed to be footwork. It's soccer. And and I'm complimenting the footwork and, and body work. I'm complimenting both. Brought oh, nice. That was beautiful. Oh, an excellent pass through the middle to Bur from Carvalho up to Tessier, just unable to connect. And right before that was a perfect pass from Hollis, John Hollis. And Sharon now on the move. We have a whistle. Offsides. Offsides. Interesting. I thought he had pulled himself back on. That's Rincon. Or back and forth. It's, it's over the barrel. There, there is no half court violation. <laughs> That's what it was. He was doing the half court violation. Wrong I'm like, game. Wait, Wrong wait. game. Axon with the ball. Near side to Raymond. Near side, far side. Rincon coming on him. That ball rolls through. Can Flaherty catch up to it? He cannot because it is kicked one. out of play by number one. That sets up a Foxborough corner kick. Who do we know who lives in Sharon who can text me who that player is? Uh, Will Hippler. <laughs> uh, Preschool for Creative Beginnings. Nevady Chandra Shaken. 
That ball, nice through ball there that rolls. The Carvalho lets go to get the uh, the open look for Flaherty. Look, look, Number one does a great ones. job of crossing that was, it over. That was the and the uh, Foxborough kick goes wide. Sharon centers it out. Quickly, Foxborough regroups, circles it around the field to Hollis, then back to Flaherty, then to Lenahan. now back to Flaherty. Now all the way back to Raymond at the 40. Thereabouts. 41 and a bit. 40, well, it's actually like a 38 and a bit. But there it is. To Puccini. Puccini looking for targets. He sends a through ball into the middle. He's got Carvalho. Carvalho dancing through, but he cannot get to connect there. And Taylor with the scoop. Tell me if you've heard that story before so far in this half. Taylor with a whole host of work in this first half. Here we'll see Carvalho coming through the middle here. He maintains possession through a couple of players. Just gets a little too long toss on that one. Gets away from him and towards the net. And look at those trees, Kev. Sunset I'm, I'm watching coming. the game, Ned. Beautiful. Play by play, watching the game. I'll look at the trees at halftime. The sun might have gone by then. Uh, it's, well, those, I'll see trees in the distance. They just might be shadowy. Whistle. Substitution. In comes Penders. Out goes Angelini. Tree, tree shot, shot for gorgeous. you leaf peepers. You don't even have to go anywhere. You can just come to the high school and sit here with a cup of coffee. But if you're not at the high school, you should come to the high school and or sit here with a cup of coffee. watch it on cable access. It's, and feel like you are having... Oh, nice header by Tessier, broken up on the play. And a whistle. Oh, they're going to call that as a shove by Tessier. And Unconsented touching. That would, that would be uh, an assault. Actually, technically it's the battery. But yes. A replay of the battery for future reference. A header bouncing around. Tessier. Oh, well, it's that the was arm. indirect. It's the arm. That it's was an indirect he would have, he would elbow, have got a, elbow to the back of the neck. Yeah, he would know. have got away with it, but for the arm race. Lanstein into the middle. It wasn't for those meddling kids. That's right. I would have got away with it, too. Like, you th you're making fun of my references. That was Scooby Doo. I know, oh. from 1968. Look, one and one. One and one. <laughs> Equals that was number one Foxborough and ball. Foxborough number one in a heap. Here comes the collision. Also right known here. as a collision. Yep, Perfect here it work. comes. Wow, nice job by Matt Shea oh, with dear. that camera Ouch. work. Yeah, that was excellent. Look at that. Well, he always manages to be right where the action is. He's got a nose for the action. Lenahan to Hollis. Hollis trying to send it wide to Flaherty. Broken up. Retained by Hollis. Down the line. Good job by. F oh, Flaherty just gets a little bit too far ahead of him and that's out of bounds. That was a good bid there, nice turn by Hollis. One touch, broken up by Barrera. One touch again by Flaherty. Can Penders get there? He cannot. Tessier with touch to possess and an extra touch to possession. draw the possession yeah. foul. And that will be Sharon Ball. And again, everyone resetting carefully and deliberately, not panicked. Penders breaks up the inbound pass. Sends it one time to Carvalho. Carvalho feeds to Tessier. Tessier trying to get down the line and around the corner. He is broken up. No call made. Foxborough ball. Interesting. Foxborough ball. Still main, maintaining possession, so that's good. Yeah, just no. It's going up the. Given the given that was an awful big roll for. Given some of the other nothing. calls you've seen, I was just surprised oh, that there wasn't a more consistent call there. Ball cleared long by Sharon. Oh, that was loud. Well, you know, just checking, checking your audio. Memorex. Raymond, <laughs> see, there's another reference. That is old. <laughs> Start talking about the Tweeter Center now and really. Uh, I, I, I think they should bring that back. No, I think they should just call it Great Woods, which is what they They do, do call it Great Woods, yes, good point. Or Circuit City, remember Give that? Chase. I do. I do, because I was alive then, yes. And born here? I, mm, I didn't say that. You were thinking that. I was, but I didn't okay. say it. Number here we nine. go. Down the line. Broken up. I'm Jad Cordab. That was broken up by... Centering pass there. Marco Puccini. Okay, good job. Nice block. No one passes the defensive slide line. It, they're trying to slide it around to get another opportunity to go on the weak side, switch a field. Linehan with, with a long body shield there. 
Eagle. Raymond, Raymond was right there. Raymond kicks it out of, out of bounds. He was also watching number four. Sharon number he was, four. Yes, Linehan was shielding four. Adam. Adam Lanstein. Lanstein. Yep. Yeah, that kid is Fast. phenomenal. There's the throw in broken up by Linehan. Up to Flaherty, Flaherty to Hollis. Hollis trying to get it up to Flaherty up the line, but not there. Sharon Ball, quick reverse of possession to number 26, also not on our list. Oh, that ball, un overjudged and down to the side. <laughs> overjudged and underserved? Yes, exactly. I feel like there should be more to that statement. Well, short answer is Prado ran up to head it and the ball went over his head. So that's an overhead? It was a... Uh, an overheader? It was an over something. Here comes a Sharon corner kick. Okay. From the corner? That is usually <laughs> where they take kidding. it from, yes. I'm just teasing. I know you are. In comes McGarry with his feet. Oh. <laughs> fabulous yep, they've shoes. changed the call. It's now a goal kick. Interesting. That's It's the right call. I'm glad I didn't have to say it. But we're still subbing. So, so they're just going back and forth. Yep. So out goes Hollis. In comes Angelini. Out goes Barrera. In comes McGarry. And Coach Ambrosio going to his uh, he's doing a rotational nice rotation. play here. Yep. Yeah, quite a bit in the first half. Making sure he's keeping his players fresh. Again, this is another Cheney three with the ball. Three up the line to week, Penders. Penders trying to roll it up the line to someone else, but it's not there. Out of bounds. Do they play again Sharon on ball. Friday? Uh, Foxborough does not play again on Friday. Okay. We play next week, two, two games. games next week to wrap up the season. One, uh, both oh, of them here. Man on. Both of them here, only one of them televised. And I think it's interesting that what happens is that you see the forwards. McGarry with a nice steal. He, one touches it to the middle to Flaherty. Flaherty up to Angelini on the other side. Angelini trying to get some distance. He's looking for a Oh, he's looking to cut it back across the middle, broken up by number one. Fans are calling time. Miguel with the ball. He feeds it over to the far side to number, I think, three, Brandon Mauricio. Nice clear by that ball cleared Pacini. Heavily by Pacini. Oh, that goalie came there. very far out. Carvalho he was almost on the 15. Carvalho called for the push on the shielding play from number that guy who's kicking the ball. Um, got a number on him. Uh, Looks there, like binoculars. a seven. Number five. It's number five, Reese Davis. Yeah, I have binoculars. Look at that. Number five. I'm checking. He's turning, standing sideways. Carvalho giving number chase five. on the replay, shielded by Davis. Carvalho again giving a little extension on that push. I can't use my binoculars on the replay. No, I didn't ask you to use them on the replay. Ball is out of bounds. We have Foxborough ball. Getting mocked by the uh, tech team in here. Well, they know better than we do. They're professionals. And they've had to listen to us. They have actually. They, they haven't had. They haven't had to listen to this for a month. They're claiming they're laughing with us. I will tell you, they're just laughing near us. Near us. Foxborough, that ball somehow rolls all the way to McGarry. We also have a fan shout out that we got a tree shot just after we said tree shot. We got a fan shout out for that? Yeah. Okay. No, great. fans are shouting out that we, to us. That we're, oh, there's a ball through. Long ball gets over the head of Davis. Rats. Nobody giving chase. Raymond with a punch there that doesn't connect. Another opportunity back to the keeper. And now Sharon <laughs> trying to put on some footwork. They do. Oh, ball oh. goes out of bounds. Fox for a ball. On the box and one by Penders. Prado <laughs> Gavala with the throw. Lights are on. <laughs> so I got a whistle there somewhere. That was a little tweet. Ah, it was a push on the defense. That's going to be a Foxborough ball coming up here now. Prado to take the kick. Foxborough trying to get inside there for a good bid. That's a long ball all no, the way no. out the other yeah. side. Too long. That's They couldn't be there. You know, if we had more people. 7.33 left to go here in the first. Nil-nil. Still. Five minutes and 30 seconds to secret time. <laughs> Again, resetting. Even 
the gentleman taking that kick is waiting for his players to really settle and be aware. Reese Davis, nice head by Flaherty. Two Penders. Up to Penders, not possessed though, as number eight, Adam Eastman gets right in the middle again. It's pesky. It's These Adams are fast, They're eight and four. And this is oh, broken up by Predu. Long ball up to Carvalho. Can he catch up? He's also again being shielded by Davis. And effectively, Sharon Ball. And it's what you were saying earlier, clearly a heavy senior upper class team, lots of experience, lots of size. And patience. And, and patience. patience, yeah, no, you're right. Poise. Kabbalah with the header to Penders. Oh, Penders. With a little not, body shimmy. Not able to get those foot to work. <laughs> no, it's a long way from his shoulder to his feet. Prado down to the floor, Called. but on the push. I could have gone I feel either. like that was a tango. It, well, it, it, it was a tango, I think, more than anything else. Sharon Ball. If Sharon had fallen, it would have been a harder call. Sharon. They just stumble fumbled. Correct. Nice ball by Landstein. He's got, oh. Oh, dear. He's got Linehan turned and maintains possession. Linehan staying with him, though, breaking it up to Raymond, to McGarry. Quickly, number 23, and a nice Tyler header, Goodman punches header, that back through. Header for Somehow, Raymond to get that yep, back up. He header to Raymond to Penders. Penders touches to Carvalho. Not able to maintain, maintain possession. Broken up. Tessier giving chase. Not there. Now McGarry on Miguel Vasconcelos. Broken up by Predu. Predu and Penders shifting position for the moment. Another man down. Ball centered, header by Raymond. One touch by Tessier rolling out of bounds. That's gonna be Sharon Ball. Fredo with a header towards the center of the field. He's got Tessier. Tessier looking to advance, he does. One touch, but wide of Foxborough players. That ball rolls out of bounds. Found the gap. Just wasn't anybody there. Like the British subway system. Mind the gap. It's the tube. <laughs> Here we go. Ball through by Sharon. Sharon sends it wide to Landstein for the switch of fields. Landstein cuts to the inside on Linehan. This he gets a piece of it, and Linehan gets a piece of it also. Right, to change the trajectory of that ball. And that will be, they're calling that a goal kick. Okay. We'll take that. I, I'm not going to argue. No, Axon can send that a long, long way. Oh, and he doesn't. And no, he, ro he rolls it out to reset. Here comes the play from Landstein and Linehan on the replay. You see Landstein, nice one touch to turn it up and over. Has a, another extra step to get some space. Eh, maybe Linehan didn't get it. Now we're back to the middle. Now we're on our way back to the end. There's Pacini to McGarry. Back to Pacini, to back to Raymond. <laughs> I don't want it, you can have it. Raymond, one touch to Axon for the slow move. He slings it out to the near side to Raymond. Raymond now to Flaherty. Flaherty quickly to Linehan. Linehan coming to the middle, back to Raymond. Two Sharon def uh, offensive players waiting for the opportunity to bounce on it. Axon back to Raymond. 3.30 left to go here in the first half. Raymond with a Block. Soft toss in, not able to clear. Maintains possession. Over to Tessier on the switch field. Can Tessier That's get past? That's another experienced Eastman, he does. He's, Eastman is pulling him yep. all over the yep. field. And he didn't let up. He sell it more. And that's a handball that's not called. Shielded. Now to Davis. Long ball up and out to Coach Ambrosio. Members of the Foxborough football team coming in. To support their friends and Good players and the them. seniors, it's senior night. Penders up and over to in to Flaherty, not able, oh, Flaherty comes away with it, nice job. Up to Angelini. Matt on fire. Angelini with the ball, he's trying to slide around to have a bid, he does. Broken up violently by the Sharon defender there. That poor guy's gonna feel that later. 
Well, was a, we've been playing Sharon a, the, the whole four that was years. A cleared hard kick there, so, by, and somehow there's a penalty on the play. The Sharon defense knows how dangerous Angelini left unchecked is. So. I, think, I think the entire Hockamock division knows that and well you can't leave Angelini unchecked. Well earned. Prado with the ball as that comes all the way through to the Foxborough defense. Quickly up to Penders. Can he cross it? He does. Can Angelini get there? He does. Can they turn it now into a play? We'll see. Angelini centers it back across. Broken up by Sharon. Flaherty with possession sends it into Carvalho. Carvalho looking to get a touch there. Fighting through. Three members of the Sharon oh. Eagles collapse on him and Carvalho kicks Clears it out it of up. bounds. That'll be a Sharon ball. Nice bid there. By it Foster. was, it was. There was a lot of pressure on that Sharon defense. Our mm -hmm. forwards were really. Nelly, we are in baby secret time. <gasps> secret time. Baby secret time. Oh my gosh, it's almost halftime. It is almost. So much to talk about. And unfortunately for you, it's getting dark quickly. <laughs> no no more no trees. More, no more trees. That's all right. They'll, they'll, imagine they'll, all the they'll put a picture back up for you if you need it. <laughs> That's all right. That can be our backdrop. Sharon with a long bid cutting through. That gets by Raymond. Can he turn it around? Nice. He does. Big clear. That Excellent. almost went to uh, St. Mark's Church. Uh, I think it might be at St. Mark's Church. All alone up front was Miguel Visconcelos, who had a... Had a, if he if he could have got a piece on it, he would have been gone. That would have been a big one-on-one uh, -on -one for him and Derek. Here you're gonna see it. Nice big clearing pass as Raymond tries to body it to Pacini, but it just rolls off him the wrong way. Good job by Zach getting back there to maintain uh, or to break up possession. Oh boy, big goal, a uh, big goal bid there by Sharon as number nine, Amjad Kordab. Amjad Kordab? Yes, Kordab. Sends that one right across the goal mouth. Fortunately for Foxborough, no one there to break that up. Here, we're going to see it here. Look, Cordup makes the turn on McGarry. One touch right across the goal mouth. Yeah. Very, I mean, and that's what they always talk about positioning. There was somebody if there on the weak side. There, but, if someone had been what? there, what? <laughs> um, <laughs> he had a, a, a moderately unintentional handball on the side by Jacob Tessier. Who was just like, I don't really feel like watching this ball go all the way out. And time. So magic time, magic time. is over. You are now at half time. Which is different than regular time. Well, it is because it, it moves slower. So, Kev, what are we going to talk for, about? For me, it moves slower. Yeah. Time? I don't know. This, you're the color person. Okay, what, no, what do you want to so talk about? One of the things that I had wanted to bring up that I wasn't sure if many people knew about today is that the Alliance for Community Media, did you know this? They are a no. national grassroots membership organization that supports public television. Yeah. So today is actually Happy Community Media Day. Happy Community Media Day. That's right. So what, what we're going to do- What happens and if you says, live in an unhappy community? Well, I actually responded to the national tweet, <laughs> and I said, no one is better than our own local Foxborough Cable Access Television out of Foxborough, Massachusetts. But they said to use the hashtag celebrate1020, okay. hashtag community media day. So if any of you are out there on Twitter and you want to support and thank the cable access providers in your town, please do so because we know that we are so lucky to have them. And in fact, there are so many times where people come up to us and say, well, are you, <laughs> are you going to this game? Are you going to that game? And we're like, we're not traveling around the state for every single game. I mean, every sport this fall has been covered in some way or another on Foxborough Cable Access. And yeah, in fact, and they're smart enough not to invite us to do them all. I know, I, but we would not spend any more money on therapy. So anyway. No, I don't think that's true. <laughs> it is community media day. And so that day. was on Twitter. And so I just wanted to thank our own cable access company. Yeah, because they're awesome. Organization, all volunteers. Mm -hmm doing amazing things, and guess what, Kev? What, Ned? You know what, Ned? when there was no soccer to I, do? Do you I, know what I did? I had to film football. Oh, yeah, which yes. must confuse you being British because That's this right. technically is football. That's right. In fact, you I You had only, to film American football. I only got yelled at twice by the producers because I didn't realize that downfield meant turn the camera left, and so they said, so, the play is going downfield, and I'm standing there, and they go, Why didn't you just Netta. follow the ball? Because... The guy was punting it in the other direction. Follow the ball. Yeah, well, they said downfield, and so I, I stood there. And yes. then they went, left, turn left. And then I got it. 
Well, what would have happened if they were going the other way and you turned left? <laughs> I did that one other time. Oh, jeez. But now I figured out. So now I am a four-sport commentator, videographer, person. You're a four-sport FCA TV expert. I am. In and fact, you've filmed musicals and graduation events. That's right. and, oh, yeah. No, I am on my way to a jacket. I don't even think they make those pin. jackets anymore. Those jackets are gone. So I feel like the Alliance for... Uh, have, they, have you seen one of those jackets lately? Media they don't day. exist anymore. I know. I'm not getting one. No, you're going to get some other new swag. So what else happened? I don't know. I don't know. You're the color person. So I was telling you, so we've been filming football, and I'm I'll tell you, football is exciting. I... <laughs> when you know which way you're going. And when you know what the sport is. That is right. It yeah. is not as easy as so soccer. Just to be clear, you've lived in Foxborough for 16 years? Yes. 16 years. I've so, been paying attention. Well, that's fine. I mean, I'm not saying that you have to, but we, we've kind of had football here through the entire time. I know. And, in fact, there was football here before that. But I didn't have to film it. No, you didn't. And and you still don't, but, but it's, it's lovely okay. that you do. So let's talk about our volunteers let's while we talk have a about few our minutes. Go ahead, bring it on. So our film crew tonight is Stephanie Linehan, Melanie Piasecki, Jen Foley. A veteran crew. Yeah, experienced Jen Foley crew. said to me, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> she did. She said, don't send anyone over I'm just going go to go stand over here with my headset. I'm I know what I'm doing. Leave me alone. At my station. Yeah. Matt Shea on that uh, movable camera down there. I know. And now, Mike l- now Everson, look at this audible. Mike, Mike Weber, Weber's going down there and grabbing Judy the gear. Briggs. Yeah. You and I. This is so <laughs> and fun. You and me. So would you like to talk about the wonderful people who actually sponsor us and mm-hmm. give who us so much support? make this whole production come together for us? Well, at least support voice I, soccer. I absolutely oh, would. Oh, there's also snacks. If anyone needs snacks. Concession stand is open. There are snacks on the right-hand side on of the, the field. Past the duchy. Oh, and I feel side. like someone may be going down there, and if they put us on camera, I wore this very slimming, did you see my slimming uh, I, Yes, that's scarf. an excellent scarf. Do you I know like what's it. nice about this scarf? Uh, apparently that it's slimming. It's I don't, I don't it's, know. That's a free cable fashion fact. It's got, it's got it's Vegas a, gold tassels. It sure does. Yes. Yes. So I was going to say thank you very much to Stadium Golf, to Rodman Ford, to Central Street Garage, to Normandy Farms, to Foxborough Chiropractic, Better Living Real Estate, and the Partnership in Patriotism Fund for making the Foxborough Boys soccer team so successful and giving them such a sense of support. And please consider supporting our local businesses as they are supporting your local kids. Yeah, and in fact, we had a great fundraiser last week where we got to go to Chipotle yes. and get dinner. Yes. I love team-sponsored dinners. And there was a Jake and Joe's dinner. There was for the, and we the had, girls. No, we did one too. Oh, we did? Yes. Yes, that was did. delicious also. That was also happening during that, during your, your month sabbatical. <laughs> That's right, my month right. of at my uh, TV You've absence. got a pretty good contract that you work out that you get a month off in season. Nice. I think that's... Well, I had to prepare, you know? I mean, I really had to prepare for these next few games that required a lot of... Two, two games. ...study. Only two left a lot left of, for you. like, positioning and a lot of making sure that you know what the calls were and who the players are and really becoming comfortable with the ambiance With of yourself. The, <laughs> so, uh, you want to talk about the players for a minute? Yes, I'd love to. Okay. So, two guys not dressed tonight to play. Jorge Sanchez, who picked up a red card on Friday in I Stoughton. I thought you weren't going to talk about that. Well, it's the facts are facts. We're missing him. Uh, we do he, miss him. We, we miss him. He's not playing. And that's the reason why. Uh, and Ian Foley, if you saw him during pregame, wearing a boot. He's right. got himself a broken toe. Um, yeah. I know one Which of the, he's been playing through the, most of the season. Yeah, so, so I know he, one of the basketball captains may have told him to sit his rear end down so he'd be available for basketball season. Uh, but Because winter is coming. Because winter is coming. Oh, and speaking of winter is coming, if anyone listening has a student who is going to be playing any kind of winter sport, please make sure you go into Family ID and register your student. Uh, it's easy to do. It takes a few minutes uh, to make sure that the coaches and athletic department know that you are there. Also, please make sure your physicals are updated yeah. so that you do not have to be sat down Correct. for lack of physical. So with that, and not related to those two sub- substitutions or, or deletions for tonight's game, but uh, with that, big shout out to uh, number 16, Dan O'Malley, and number 23, Harry Keane. Welcome. Who have been called up. Uh, were called up last week, or, or the week before that, actually, from the JV squad, and uh, with the with the varsity boys for the rest of the season. So good for them. 
Um, folks, we are down to the final 45 seconds before we have a kickoff here to start the second half. It is still nil-nil here in Foxborough. Uh, the teams are coming back out to get started in the second half. And now we are under the lights. So we for are, our camera it's, folk, it's, it's awesome. Mood lighting. Well, it's much easier to film. Remember we were talking about that before when you don't have the changing glare of the sun? Yes. To be able to actually film with a consistent light source. Now we just have some of the shadows in the corners that we have to pay attention to when we're trying to see the game. That's true, but so when you're in the high camera. Foxborough in its home blues will be going now from our right to your left on your TV screen. Sharon in reverse. So in the downfield road lights. would still be left? I'm not touching downfield. <laughs> uh, Sharon, still in their road whites, will be going from your TV screen left to right. And there's the air horn, there's the signifying, si signifying nothing. that color time signifying has closed. Nothing, I know. Thank you for listening, everyone. So back out on the field for Foxborough are Axon, Raymond, Pacini, Linehan, Gabala, McGarry, Barrera, Tessier, Angelini, Penders, and up top now, Hollis. So they've changed the formation a little bit to see if we can get a, some scoring opportunities. Penders to take the kickoff. Usually Angelini in there for the kickoff. It's an interesting well, I think what they're trying to do well. is Angelini is absolutely lightning fast on a wing as well so they're looking yes, to get but we him always up. pass it back and we do there that one gets away from mcgarry over to raymond raymond quickly turns it over to pacini pacini looking up the line out there looking for another option he sends it through to tessio tessio with the ball quick pass to gabala gabala quick pass up the line but outside and that's going to be a sharon ball Nice long throw, extra spin. <coughs> Puccini with a header. Gabala with a header. Number 11 with the ball, pushed out of the play by Gabala. And up to Tessier again, out of bounds. Number 11 for Sharon, Cam Birnbaum. Sharon throw in coming now from number three. Netta, who's number three? Brandon Maurizio. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. He's up to Birnbaum, broken up by Predu. Tessier maintaining, fighting through for possession. McGarry in there with him. So far, we're seeing a lot of back and forth within those 10 yards. Now, Eastman with the ball, making a bid. He's moving up the field quickly. And he slides it over outside the box, but it's gobbled up by Axon. Oh, we have a whole new the, influx of more, fans coming in. It's probably after academy it's practice being done. definitely after academy. More importantly, the James Hollis Big Fan Head Club. has returned. Excellent. Axon back to Raymond. Raymond taking possession, looking up the field. And this is sending what high school sports up, is all about. Trying to send one up to Penders, not there. Broken up by Sharon. Quick throw by Linehan, back in play. Up and over, broken up by Raymond. Nice ball. Get a piece of it. There was boxing out happening there between him and number nine from Sharon. 37 that minutes. Ball rolls out of play and will stay Foxborough ball now. Linehan with possession. Makes the throw up to Hollis, up and over Hollis to Penders. Penders back to Hollis. One touch to Tessier. Tessier broken up by Sharon and breaks up Sharon. McGarry to Tessier. Tessier to Barrera, broken up again by Sharon on a loose ball. McGarry with possession, sends it to Angelini. Angelini now coming down the near side wing. Cuts it back to the middle. Three players on him. They gobble him up and turn it back around. Eastman to Raymond. Raymond breaks it up. Landstein quick to turn it back into play. Sharon with a good bid here. There's a one touch. Broken oh, well up done. by Fantastic. Axon. Excellent that was an job. Man. Sharon right Massive there to save. take advantage of it. Fantastic. But Axon there to make the stop. Very oh. well timed play by Derek Axon, the senior heart keeper. Did stop just then. Well, get that going again. Look at me. No. There you go. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. 
bump, bump. Hollis giving chase back to the Sharon li defensive line. Oh, it's not Eastman. It's uh, Miguel Visconcelos. I'm giving the wrong guy credit there. Sorry, Miguel. <coughs> oh, watch that out, ball. Axon. Chase is loose. Number 11, Cam Birnbaum, all the way up to Axon. Axon with a quick release to Predu. Predu trying to fight through. Now Literally what's interesting, cut I a hole through hear, Brandon Mauricio. It's not do there. Do not hear the players talking to one another. Okay. Are you hearing them? Well, no, but I'm wearing these these really sound canceling headphones. Here we're going to see that save coming through the middle. Burnbaum. Oh, I Axon mean, just no fear. fingertip no save fear. there. But no really. fear. He like just and put Miguel, his face right Miguel, in front of that kid's boot. Yep, Miguel Unbelievable. Gonzalez right there to make the play. But Axon, if if Axon had made that play the way he did, that was a goal. Correct. So well done by Derek. Foxborough ball. That should be a Foxborough ball right there. It is. Tessier quick on the release to Penders. Penders trying to one-time it up the line to Angelini, not there, broken up. And a up. fantastic save also has the same effort and effect of sort of giving everyone a little boost in the arm too, because you realize that, oh, that was a little close, and you put a little spring That ball is gonna roll out and be a Sharon ball. I agree. Brandon Mauricio with the throw. Strong down the line. Past the defenders. We've got a situation. Uh, we've got a violation here. I'm not sure what the oh. call is. That's going to be a defensive penalty on Foxborough. I didn't see what happened. I don't um, know if it was I mean, a there, language there, situation. No, or no, pushing. no, no. It wasn't language. It was hands. Okay. It was definitely hands. Um, but here we are. So here's another. <coughs> A well-placed bid for Sharon. This time it is Adam Eastman to take the kick. Foxborough trying to get organized on defense. Here comes a ball. Right through. Clear it. Ball is not cleared out oh. cleanly by Foxborough. That is actually cleared out backwards by Foxborough, and that's going to be a goal, a corner kick. Shoe tie. That's right. Sponsorship shoe tie. Brought to you by Delay of Game. No, nope, just a shoe tie. Oh, they had to get ready anyhow. So here we go. Foxborough looking to contain here and clear. Nice high ball. Good bid. Cleared out by, by Raymond. Not far though. Can Foxborough possess Angelini there with the ball? Go. Off there to the races goes. we go. Let's go. Can Matt. Angelini beat him? He's got one. He's got two. He's Come got on, three. Matt. That's Can it, he Matt. turn it inside? Come on. Oh! Oh, phenomenal. Inside oh. pass across the goal mouth Christ. to Hollis. Not there. Excellent bid by Angelini. What great wheels there we just saw. <laughs> All the way up. Here, Here we it is. Go. Here it comes. We're gonna I see love it. watching him do this. this. He's past the third. He's past the 20. <laughs> He's inside the 10. And then he punches it. Just a nice touch oh, there, but Hollis just two steps behind him. Too, too late to what get there, great unfortunately. Effort. Great job great by both effort. of them. By both of them. Trying to keep up with, uh, with Angelini on afterburner is a <laughs> bit of a task. So good job by John Hollis for trying to get there. Prado with the ball, chesting save. Angelini with the ball now down the line. Can he turn again? Broken up on the slide by that, number no, three, but that Brandon be a Mauricio. Ball, even though all the Sharon players were pointing to Sharon. No, yeah, no, it's definitely a Foxborough ball. He's 100% right. It's just too bad because if Matt had that one guy to beat and he was in the position to be able to do another cross. Barrera with the throw long over Penders. Come on. Oh, not there. Foxborough with a couple of good heads floating around it's in there, but unable soccer. to come away with the ball. I'll tell you, it's the most exciting nil-nil game. I mean, it really is. I'm wicked excited. <laughs> wicked. I'm wicked excited. It's great <laughs> soccer. People are working really hard tonight. None more so than Mike Weber. Producer, sideline camera. Excellent, I know. Just, I mean, the guy's everywhere. Occasion, uh, who's, we're having subs? They I just heard from somebody out. in the tech booth that they were having subs. Matt and Mike subs. Oh, I see. I see. It's a little intense doing that sideline job. 
because you're going to get smacked by the ball. Clady, or another player. Clady breaks up the play there. Ball rolls out. That'll be Sharon Ball again. Again, stands are filling up. Short throw in this time. Arnbaum comes away with it. Now to number nine, Cordub. Through ball. Action on the play. Beautiful job. Again, like, oh, no worries. There was some player just running at me 100 miles an hour. Nope, it's fine. That's, that's the gig. That's the gig. Lonely gig. We need t shirts that say, like, hashtag goalie strong or Raymond, something. Raymond to McGarry. McGarry unable to possess. Broken up. And here we come down the wings again from Sharon. A lot of agility between these two teams. That ball softly and well crossed to the middle. Prado there to maintain, to clear it out. Barrera trying to get around. He does up to Angelini. Angelini okay. coming to the middle. Crossed he, it through. He, he crosses it through, but Eastman is there to break him up just to get the rhythm off. And they turn that ball back around and Birnbaum coming up the line. He Fox goes Robo. wide to Concielos. Vasconcelos, and that's going to be Foxborough. Vasconcelos. Prado, long throw. Angelini not on target there. Barrera with it, possesses out of bounds. Keeper is calling Foxborough ball. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Collision in the box. Bump. Bump in the booth. Penalty. Ooh. Off the throw from Prado. Retained by Sharon. That ball's out of bounds, not called. Pender's giving chase. That ball is now out of bounds. Heads, heads, heads. Lucky fans. Not quite clearing to fan zone. Pereira lining up with the throw. Some targets in the box waiting for him. They've been working on this most of the season. He's got this a long throw in. Penders off the top. Slides yes, it over. Yes. Oh, oh my God. Up. Phenomenal save. Again, fantastic Brady save. Daler with the save. My goodness. Well positioned and well timed. I'm really hoping that both of these kids end up playing soccer in either college or wherever they go next. Or they're, they're fantastic. Brady Daly with the long clearing pass. McGarry breaks it up. Sharon somehow maintaining possession. Now the chase is on on the near side, on the far side. Ref calls off of Sharon. Raymond clearly wanting that to be off of, off of Sharon. Uh, Raymond clear, clearly wanting that to be off of Sharon, and the ref calling it off of Foxborough on the slide. Did you see that? So here's that that great throw, headed by Penders to the to the far side, just. Broken up there, just a touch by Tessier, not enough to get past the keeper on position. And that ball's out of bounds here, and Foxborough now takes back possession on the throw. Hollis trying to slot that through two defenders, not there, out of bounds. Foxborough with the ball. Herrera with the long throw down the side, broken up by Sharon defense, and cleared back to the Sharon bench. So we'll do it again. <laughs> Bench header. Bench ball. Hollis head ball to Penders. Penders down the wing to Hollis. Not able to possess. A little bit behind Hollis on the fast break there. Sharon now with the ball. Sharon clearing up. Head by Foxborough. Out of play. Patty cake, patty cake. We are under 28 minutes left to play here in the second half, nil-nil still from Sam Burns. Now Barrera you're doing haiku, header. Kevin. I don't, I don't even know how to do a haiku. There's Angelini on the move. Go. One Matt. touch. Oh. oh, slides wide. Well, and you never know if there's a goal They're going to say, we got the ref right there. He's going to say that the keeper did not touch the ball. Technical. No, nope, he has changed his terms. Someone's getting a technical. I, I certainly thought the keeper tea. got it. Angelini with the slide. Yeah, no, he definitely got it. It, it disrupted the flow of the ball. So what was the call? The what call is, is now a corner kick. He initially indicated to a goal kick, 
and then he called his own time to correct himself. Oh, that okay. ball was cleared by Sharon. Foxborough just not having any luck around the goal mouth tonight. Nice slide there, but <laughs> nice out slide. of play. I'm like, oh, Neo scoring night. Yeah, that's going to be a <laughs> turf burn. Turf burn. By, turf burn by Hollis. And that's now a Sharon goal kick. I love all the crowd noise that we're hearing, Kevin. It's so great to see kids in the stands, ball students in the stands, by families. Davis. Again, another diving header by McGarry. And down the wing comes Tessier and Penders. Penders with the ball, slides it to the middle. Oh, broken up. He had Tessier broken up. Barrera with a one touch, not there. Broken up again by Sharon. Can Foxborough keep the pressure on? They do. McGarry with the ball. And now Predu on the defensive end to keep it there. Quick clear by Sharon up to 22, 22, 22. Nicholas Rincon and out of play. Foxborough maintains possession here. It's very exciting. There's a, there's a lot. It's a, it's a very there, stressful game. There's a lot going on here. Foxborough, Predu to Bar Barrera, Barrera to Angelini, Angelini to McGarry, McGarry to the middle. They're moving it so fast, I can't keep up with it. Raymond now back in. Barrera has it, slides it to the middle, not there, broken up by Reese Davis. So I want to say is Reese Davies, but it's not. Rise Davies, the actor? Is that, that his name, Rise? Is it Rise? Am I supposed to be calling him Rise? No, I don't know. But Pender's giving chase, yes. dibbling and dabbling on him. A Little bit of extra step there, they get by. Ball is oh. out of play. Number five, Rice Davis. I'm going to call him Rice now. That's I fine. think it's Reese. Isn't that Reese? I don't know. What do I know? It's they got Heisman. That call was Heismaning. That, <laughs> face mask. Double Heisman. Prater with the throw. He goes to Penders. Penders heads to the middle. Literally. <laughs> Angelini not able to maintain possession. I was just looking at the play. Oh. That's good. <laughs> That's the first sign that you're working in commentary. There's a push by Tessier. They're going to call that a, a little shove. A, a little, a little extra shimmy shove there, and that's going to be Sharon Ball up at about the 42. The line markings are are quite useful for accuracy. Well, I, I would think that they could be confusing for the players, but. They are useful for me. For commentary. Yeah. Oh, shoe tie. Oh, it's the old fake shoe tie. Do you think that's a fake shoe tie? Yeah, just so that they'll forget he's there. And to run clock? No, no, they're not running clock. They are. They're, they're not. They don't it, want to run clock. They haven't scored yet. They don't want to run clock. No, but it was still running. But Of course it was still running. <laughs> it's run time. That was my point. I don't like it. Penders. Slides it out wide to Tessier. Tessier has to back up to grab it. He does. Foxborough looking to press the advantage. One ball in to Penders. No. Come on, Matt. Angelini taken down oh. in the box. No Come call. Oh, we have a call. Yes. There we go. Here oh. comes a penalty kick for Foxborough. Opportunity to score there. Off the feed. Here we're gonna, we're gonna see it here. Ground level look. Oh, excellent Watch footage. the play here. Penders through to Angelini. Angelini broken down on the play. No ball possession touch there by uh, the defender. And here we're going to have a scoring go, opportunity for Foxborough. From one of our senior players who has been playing soccer with this Ooh, program. Here comes, here comes the sky look. Let's see it. Penders one times it through to Angelini. Angelini okay, taken well. down in the box. Nice. But now back to real time. Yeah, here it comes. And he slots it on. And it is now one. <laughs> and, now, and now there is a Foxborough pile up on the uh, end zone line there. Well done on the PK by the goal leader for Foxborough, Matt Angelini. He picks up his 10th of the season. On senior night. On Fantastic. Senior night. Let's see it. Ooh, again a sideline look. You don't get this kind of coverage elsewhere in the hawk, I'll tell you that. 
high and to yeah, the left, fantastic. well placed. Davis, um, he knew which side to go. Brady Daler guessed right. Yep. Just he didn't guess high enough, or couldn't get high enough. Either way, tough break for Sharon. Great opportunity for Foxborough. Foxborough now looking to see if they can maintain possession and capitalize. See if they can use this as something to grow with. Hollis ooh, 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 fighting ooh, through ooh. for possession. That ball that is now out of bounds. AJ. That should be. Oh, they're going to call that a Sharon ball. And it was Elijah fighting with that. Not Hollis. Oh, excuse me. Thank you. That was Elijah Carvalho. I missed that, obviously. <laughs> so then they take they they Not saying anything. they substituted him for him for Penders, right? Uh, yeah. See, so huh, right back at you. <laughs> How do you like that? I know, I know what's going on. Yeah, sure. Okay. Carvalho giving chase. He has the ball. He's down the sideline. Pass Davis. Here we go. Wheels, wheels, wheels. Oh, kicked out of bounds. Oh, not past Davis. It was past uh, the guy on the far side because Davis is the center anchor. Matt Angelini with the goal. The lone score so far in this game in the 22nd minute on a penalty kick. Foxborough looking to capitalize on that and extend the lead here. Long ball into play. Hollis with the header to the top of the box. Cleared out by Sharon. We also have a correction from <laughs> across the country. Listen, I don't that it's it's Reese, not like Rye. Well, that's it's what I Reese. said. I was calling him Reese. You You're changed correct. me. You're correct. I am confirming the correction. Boy, oh boy. We have such good fans out there. We have fans, yes, we do. So, thank you for the corrections, fans, fan club, <laughs> yeah, thank, club of fans. Thank you for speaking of. Oh no, I don't thank know. Thank you my for purse. being the CNN error check. Yeah, <laughs> I have a fan in my bag. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man just, down. Oh, man down. Just so Rats. that there's always always one there with you. Player down is number 22, Nicholas Rincon. Yeah, I think it was. He was okay. Draws the. He's now back up. Draws Any the violation. Listening. Sharon with the kick. God bless. Thank you. Apologies. Hopefully you didn't all have to hear me sneeze. Long ball in. Broken up by Prado. Sent to the far side. Retained by Sharon. Oh. Through ball to the middle. Davies with it. Broken up by Flaherty. Broken up by McGarry. Gets past Carvalho, can he maintain? Nope, broken up again by Sharon. <laughs> McGarry taken down, no call. Sharon pressing the advantage, coming back to the middle. Broken up by Barrera. And McGarry, play, they're playing from the ground. <laughs> Everyone's falling down. Can you get a call that's for a th that? That's gonna be a through ball. Raymond there to clear it out. Can you get called for excessive flopping? Excessive flopping? Yeah. N no. You can be told to stop it, but... To stop flop it? Stop flopping. Yeah, they could give him a no card, flop. card eventually. You're going to need a lot of flops. Flopping card? You need a lot of flops. Moon coming through the trees over there. I was waiting. I was waiting to point out the moonrise when it's better. Oh, look at that. Perfect shot. Thank you. That's we'll why... We'll keep an eye on that because it's just beautiful. Point that out for you. We have it on the screen. Here's the throw in. Oh, boy, to the center. That ball oh is rolling around loose inside the box. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, and thank you, Axel. with control. Not only did he grab that, he also added the body, just to be yes, doubly the, sure. The, the, to make sure there was no... The, su the suffocation No, it's really damage. good as a keeper, because if it bobbles out of your hand, you now have full body on it. Yes, Raymond back to Axon. Axon over to Puccini. Puccini looking up the field. And now back to Axon. Jackson taking his time. <laughs> Sends nice one long. That's going to be headed by Sharon. <laughs> Linehan trying to keep that ball in front of him. He does. That's another arm there not called. Jackson Mailing in the game. Good job for telling me that, Netta. Jackson Mailing, number two in the game, freshman player. So we are looking Giving at... Giving a little bit of leg look, rest. We're looking at a forward line of Angelini... Uh, not Angelini, excuse me. Sorry. Mailing, Carvalho, and Flaherty. Yep. Hollis dropping back to the midfield. Barrera out. Penders out. And Angelini out. Mailing. 
trying to get some movement on there. He does. Sharon puts a body, fans, on, body fans on the- Fans like that effort. Fans putting body on the freshman player. He's having none of it. He draws the foul. Good job by the freshman. Jackson Manning as he fights through. Boof. Yeah. Arm raised. Can't lift those chicken wings. Nope. Wings down. Wings down. Nice, nice centering oh ball goodness. by Hollis right oh to the keeper. That could have gone right Dale. in. Well, maybe that's what they were hoping for, was a little screen distraction, get that ball in. Sharon centers that ball back down to the wing. Puccini giving chase. Watch out, man. Oh, don't send All it back. All the way back to Axon. Axon coming out to the outside for Puccini. Puccini unable to possess it and keep it in bounds. That's going to be a Sharon ball. Really Deep fast. In the Fox ball back end. right there. Excellent Want ball move, back. Move down. Oh, sure. Let's move down. Here we go. Slide to the right. Slide to the left. No, we're sliding to the right. It's the right side. We'll slide to the left and it goes back down to the Fox ball. Two attack. times. Cha cha. Okay. No more cha cha. That ball gets away from Sharon on the throw. I think it's burn bomb. <coughs> McGarry with yet another header. I need an ice pack on this floor. <laughs> Ball's out of play. Sharon with possession here on the throw. Oh. Quick pass in, centering play, broken no, up. No, we got that. Scoop no. of chocolate, scoop of vanilla. Yeah, but we got it out, out of bounds, so now it's a corner kick. Oh. Axon tried to make a little cute shimmy. I, I caught it, but I was out of bounds. Oh, so now they got to reset. So now they get a corner kick. This is a little bit dangerous with this setup. If that That's a quick roll. Oh, three points. Just oh, missed the over. opportunity there. And our fans are also agreeing up through the uprights, everyone doing the upright sign. So that's Reese Davis. Yes, you're with correct. his bid there Thank in front so of the Thank you so much, Olympia mouth. Washington, for Th the indeed. correction. Thank you, Olympia Washington, for the correction. Well, you know why? Because they're three hours behind us, so she's awaker than we are. So they're right, because they're three hours behind us. Well, I was right in this time. <laughs> in this real time? In this real time. Before even the magic time. Puccini, long ball. Nice foot. Now we have to go over oh, here. Oh, broken up by Davis. Oh, back to the other side. Yeah, I didn't say slide to the left. I'm sorry. Prado, Tessier comes away with it. Mailing up to Tessier on a nice scoop. Tessier looking to maintain possession. He is taken down. There should be a whistle somewhere. There, there it was, is. There it was. Have they put him in to draw these massive hits? Absolutely. He's taken it. Here it comes. There's, yeah, there's the Tessier with possession trying to stay ahead. And just, I mean, just a lot of gravity involved in there too. Hollis with a long long kick. Oh, mailing with a bid, not able to commit, connect fully. That slides right there, left. But he was right there. And in comes for substitutions, Penders and Angelini coming back in. Out goes Carvalho. And mailing. There's the bid. Well, there's, I mean, it's a it's a great foot by Hollis. You got guys there that are able to make the play. It's just, and a nice job by Malin yep. to, to track he was right it. right there, yep. To track it and wait for it to come down. Pradu, quick head. Broken up by Davis. Again by Pradu. Penders with a slide head to Angelini. Not there, broken up. Hollis to Penders. Penders come sends on, it up long. There you go. He loves those. To Angelini. Angelini across. slides it across. Oh! oh! So close. Excellent play, Had though. Hollis there just so wide close. left on the, on but the line. But great communication. He was right with him. He was right in position. Very, here, just we're going to see it right here. We're going to see it right here. Beautiful off. play. The, the ball set up perfectly for Angelini. He turns. Effortlessly. He slides it right across the six. Lefty. Hollis is right there with the lefty just on the outside of yep. the bar. Yep. I mean, inches, we're talking inches. Tessier, high ball. Still high. Nobody there. Barrera with the ball now, possessing to Angelini. Angelini sliding up to Barrera. Out of bounds. Sharon giving chase, Foxborough ball. And look at that moon. Here it comes. It's phenomenal. I will steal the moon. <laughs> Can we squish it? 
moon is incredible tonight. There it is. Look at I, it I see it. It's fabulous. Barrera. Oh, nice header across. Come on. Oh, rats. Flaherty getting a touch on it. They've got it down. Barrera, <laughs> Barrera throws the header to yep. Penders. Penders yep. They've been practicing. with the one-touch head to the goal mouth on the other side. See it here. Here comes the yep. throw in Fantastic from Barrera throw. to Penders. Penders up, slides it over. There's Flaherty right there. He gets a piece of it, but not enough of it. And I think we have a timeout on the field. Timeout! All right. No, not a TV timeout. We're here for hours. Hours. We have, like... Hi, Foxborough Cable. There we are. It's nice to see you. I like, you I like it when it. they put us in this angle. There's Tony Barrera right in front of us. You okay, see him? Yeah. He's happy to be listening to Foxborough Cable access. I'll tell you that. Pan the crowd, and we can see everyone who's texting and ignoring us. Tony, and Tony needs to take a walk. This is a little too tight for him. That's, <laughs> that's what that is. It's nice all lit up here. That's and then these guys, can you uh, yeah, find the crew? They're all, well, they're, no, because they're, they're, they're the they dark. leave the light off over there. They're like it's. Uh, there's a. There's a big head. There's a big head, Jim. That's Jim right. Hollis. Wave, wave your head. Wave your head, Karen. That is a, there it okay, is. There it is, Tony Mr. With the, Tony with big head, James. Big head, James Hollis. There it is. Thank you, Mr. Barrera. Senior James Hollis, with his big head. Seriously, that's. I mean, it's fantastic. He's, he's a pretty humble kid. <laughs> I don't think that's you know. I think he's I think gonna love this footage when he's. I think he's, we're giving him a bad rep. No, it's gonna be great. All right, here come the players back. Well, Foxborough's players well, are Fox back. back. We'll just put, just put it in the goal. So, 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 we, so we now know who called the timeout. Because Foxborough's like, let's go. So Sharon called the timeout based yes. on that? Is that what you're saying? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. And it's a Capture timeout the with moon. 12 minutes and 33 seconds left to go here in the second half. Stephanie Linehan's camera can catch up. Look Stephanie that Linehan there. has got it. Yes, She's, well done. This is, a, what, is this one of her first times on the big camera? I think I, so. I, I don't amazing. know. I don't know. Excellent I'm just job. delighted that she has been volunteering. The big camera is tricky up there. The, well, no one knows better than you. Here comes Sharon. You are a big camera aficionado. I love the big camera. I know you do. I know you do. And then when you're doing football, you have to be on top of the press box. You're like on the roof roof. Well, what do you think she is? Well, there's like secret stairs and everywhere. Yeah, this but is obvious stairs. No, it's, but that's just because this is built in this century, and that <laughs> was built true. in the last century. That's true. All right, so this is going to be a goal kick for Sharon here. 12 minutes. They're going to clear that bad boy out. Fox, we're going to try to get first to the ball. Oh, Barrera nice. does. Fantastic. Penders. High sticking. Oh, <laughs> It's, he has to work hard to get those legs back down once they come up. Ball is over to Angelini. Angelini tries to cut back to the middle. Toe pick causes that ball to squirt out. But Tessier. here comes Tessier with the ball. Now Tessier turning it back in. Down the wing. Not there. Sharon managing to get a toe on it and turn that ball around. Pray to give and chase. He does. Here comes the ball down the wing to Birnbaum. Birnbaum centering it in. Axon there on Axon. the play. <laughs> like the arm. Yeah, get out of my get box. Get out of my box. This is my house. <laughs> accent in the box. You no belong here. He's an accent in the box. He's an, an accent waiting to happen. <laughs> it's Barrera up high, ball down low. Oh, whistle. Whistle, that's going to be direction. Barrera on the, I mean, on the leap. Sharon line. Sharon ball. Ball's that's what I meant. Oh. They're trying to call it. Oh, no, the other way. No, 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 no. Sharon trying to make a quick release on the play. The ref wanting that ball to go back to the spot of the infraction. Thank you, Kevin. Infraction. Excellent use of infraction. Thank you very much. How many people can spell that? Four I mean, I can. Words. It's fraction with an N. Long clearing, <laughs> centering pass in. Broken Clear. up by Foxborough. Quickly headed back into play. Broken up by Pacini. There's a lot of discussion about... Oh, nicely followed through by Flaherty. Penders on the ball giving chase. Still with it. Still with it. That 26, I don't know, his number's not on our list. He's a hustler. Yeah. Sharon? Yeah. That eagle? Yes. That's the one. He's given some significant size up to 24, and he's not hes not going anywhere. He's giving chase there. We got a sub coming in. Back comes McGarry. Out goes Hollis. Ten and a half to play. But again, with such a tightly matched game, you really need to substitute your players as you can, even just to give people a quick rest. Predu to Tessier, Tessier ahead, broken up. To load bear, or whatever it is. To load manage. Yes. 
Load bear would be if we were in construction. Still. That ball through. Pender's trying to send it to Angelini, but he nope. sends it behind him. Tough luck there, tough luck. And two new subs coming in for Sharon as well. And unsuspecting fans just walking on the track. Yeah, Almost well, got part of that play. Heads up, ladies, heads up. Live action. <coughs> up goes Birnbaum. Sharon now with the throw. Three. Predu, header. Doesn't get all of it. Ball's throw. Pender's giving chase. Wide clearing kick by Davies. Davis. Retained by Sharon. Oh, Sharon with a good turn there. Nice Axon, Axon. He's right on the line. Gonna release it. Look, he's like, hurry up, hurry up, go, go, go. Oh, well, they've got numbers right now if they can maintain possession. Flaherty fights through. He's getting there. Go. Clarity fighting through, slide to the left. There we go. Matt One touch. For it. Oh. oh, and a good job by Brady Daler to bounce it, maintain possession, and quickly get it back into play. That ball's off Prado. Quick throw here by Sharon. Sharon pressing the attack. Chini, Chini, turning it to the outside. He does. Possession out of bounds, that will be a Sharon ball. Quick throw by Sharon. Whistle, Whistle. Oh, man injured. down. That's, um, I Tessier. believe, Jacob Tessier down on the field. We have an injury stoppage. Uh, looks like cramp, looks like his left thigh. So he's getting stretched out. <laughs> by, by the on-field trainer. By number 24. Yeah. Um, Here comes the off-field trainer. I was like, who's number 24? I'm like, I think that's my kid. Yes, oh. it is. <laughs> Alex Fender stretching out his player. Trainer coming over. And that's hard because when you have these fluctuations in temperature, they've also been in school all day. It's a late game. They're running, a lot of lactic acid buildup. You know, you really have to keep up with the hydration and the food. Tessie is going to step out. Under his he's going to take a break. Steam. Looks like just a run of the mill cramp. Yeah, he's going to step out, have a banana. In comes Hollis. No, the problem is that you have to have had the banana yesterday or earlier today, and also hydration. So that's what Amy was saying the other day. It's really hard to get kids to hydrate correctly all through the school day to be able to play these later games in the afternoon, and so you're at higher risk for basic cramp. Basic crampitis. Crampioni. <laughs> Crample Stiltskin. Indirect kick now from Sharon on the because stoppage and play. Well, they had the ball. And so? And we stopped for an injury. And so? So we don't get the ball. Oh, come on. It doesn't work that way. Well, we should. It wasn't a foul. But he got hurt. It, but <laughs> through no action <laughs> in the play. Fine. Sharon ball. Here comes the drop ball. There it is. They've dropped. They've centered. Hollis, quick touch. Angelini clears it up. Ball back to the 50. Sharon looking to turn that ball back around and maintain possession. They do. They feed to the middle. That ball is through. Scooped. Oh. Axon. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. They're going to. With possession. Lucky one there. Yeah, I don't like it when they do that. Pick it up or don't pick it up. But decide. Uh, okay. Nice kick. Axon decides. He sends it nice. long <laughs> down the wing. Nice clear. Flaherty on his horse. Flaherty is doing Penders amazing. Penders and Angelini giving chase. Okay. They still have possession. Come on, Matt. Angelini turns it to the inside, oh. slots it. Fantastic. Save. Fantastic save. Again, phenomenal. Hollis with a Phenomenal chip. save. Again, Daler. Brady Daler. Great Wonderful. job today by the keepers. Ball rolls out of play. That's going to be Sharon Ball. Excellent bid there. Great um, stick to itiveness by Flaherty to get the ball into position for Angelini and Penders to fight after it. Whoa, and, and that's a slide that had no actual soccer value at all. And, and, and number one, Ryan Flaherty is a sophomore, which means we get him for another two years. Still Someone down. is down. Yeah, nope, the, Sharon player. The, the Sharon player on the slide tackle is down. Flaherty wasting no time just landing on him on the play. Amy, the trainer, is over there. Oh, yeah. No, he's down, down. Let's 
See if he's all right. Here he is. Sharon Coach walking over. Do we have a card in? I mean, this is the unfun time. Unfun part of soccer. I believe we have... I believe we have a carding happening there by Ryan, on Ryan Flaherty. I'm not quite sure why. Flaherty's going for the ball, and that player, whose number escapes me, just sl just slides from way out to make the play. And he's still down. I do believe that Flaherty ended up with an infraction there and has been taken off the field due to a yellow. Which I would question how, how much that was earned. Carvalho back in, so clearly Flaherty has been sent off. All right, he's now rolled onto his back. He's now in a sitting up position, which is great. It's, it's, it's not number five, because number five is Reese Davis. So it could be Miguel Vasconcelos. Number six. No, oh, he's indicating he's ready to get up and stand. Number no, it's one. Number one. The the mystery man. But he's walking off under his own steam, which well, is that fantastic. That we certainly like to see. Okay, he just just come, you know, gathering himself back up. He's well, he walked off. Got, he's got probably got, got the, the wind, wind knocked, knocked out, out of him between the fall yep. and then and then Flaherty falling on top of <laughs> the him. The fall and the Flaherty, the double up. <laughs> Squared. Well, it's just good, I did, you know, he's now walking easily over back to his bench, if any parents are watching, walking under his own power without the trainer. So, good. Coach checking him out. We are ready to play on. I'm ready to play on. Let's 6 play on. 6.55 left in the second half. Sharon possession. Sends it. To the right. <laughs> Upfield, oh, upstream, down not, the way, neither, neither. over here, oh my God, and yonder. Stop yelling, stop yelling right in my ear. Oh dear, Axel oh dear. comes out, dangerous bid. Birnbaum looking to get a piece of it. Clear Raymond clearing Raymond. it out. That's going to be a corner kick. Fans liked that Landstein, play. Landstein, excuse me, not Birnbaum, Landstein. We have young young soccer fans in the front here Some who really liked that. very excited soccer fans in the front, yes. Clock is stopped. We have another timeout. This is when it's time to no, go get no time snacks. Out. No, they're playing Corner on. Corner kick. Yeah, so start the clock. There it is. Suddenly, yeah. Oh, here we go. We've got a replay here. Open mouth. Raymond gives it a ride for the corner. Long clearing pass in, broken up by Angelini. Nice head, he oh. was right there. Barrera kicks it back into play, cleared out by McGarry. McGarry. Ball is up, the chase is on. We have a... Huh, in, we didn't have a even know that that was an indirect comment. What? Because McGarry's brother's name is Chase. Thank you. So that was excellent. So Chase is not on, Alex is on. Uh, but Chase is coming. Chase will be coming. So there there'll be McGarry's. Handball by Sharon results in a clearing kick by Foxborough. And now we'll have a timeout apparently to talk things over. With 5.43 to play. Well, there was Netta, a lot just to happen. 43 seconds to magic time. <laughs> I hate we know that. How but you know what I'm going to do? It. I'm actually going to set my own dang timer because oh, it's be been great. so stressful. It's true. Yes. It's true. Actually, there's a lot. Like, you forget the intensity that these young men are playing with, um, that when there is an injury or a major stop in play, it does shake everybody up. The fact that he's still okay, they're going. Oh, let's look at Foxborough's goal. By the way, in case you've forgotten, this is the goal kick, uh, penalty kick from Matt Angelini. <coughs> Fantastic. Here it comes. Nice wind he up. winds up. Right. And again, the keeper, Taylor. Yeah. He was in the right position. Right. He was in the right position. I mean, they say 95% of the time they go right. They say if you use statistics in an argument, 69% of the time people will believe you. <laughs> And in fact, one can find statistics that pretty much support anything. <laughs> and also, what is your end number? So, 
here comes statistically, a all of these kids kick. just got popcorn. They Somebody must have, they must have been it comes the, uh, So this is the time when we've announced the, the, we're getting rid right. of the popcorn. Oh, it's like 50% it's off. It's free, yes. <laughs> Raymond, all kids, free popcorn. Here we go. Slide up to Carvalho, back to Raymond, broken up by Sharon. This is going to be a little bit of a chase now. Here we go. Axon out to make the save. All right, I've got my stopwatch ready for when it's 24 seconds. I'm hitting start because I am had if, enough. If you, if you only stop it for 24 seconds, you won't get enough. Why is that? Because it's five minutes. Ball is up and over Carvalho. He made he he uh, fights on. He's got possession. Broken up by Sharon. Oh dear. It's getting scrappy. Flaherty back in play. Well, and you can start, you can see Ambrosia when Ambrosia starts pacing, he's doing the pace where yep. he goes uh, like up ten paces and switches around. I hope you started your clock, Netta. We are oh. in magic time. I did, I did, I did. Thank you. Carvalho to Flaherty, eyeball retained by Barrera over to Angelini. Angelini cuts it back. There's a lot of body. That ball out of play. One of the coaches just yelled seven. time, and I want to be like, Malachi no, Diaz. There's no time. No, he's saying you have time. You have time. But he didn't. Maintain possession. You have time. You do if you're Foxborough. You have nothing but time right now. It's a little Hootie and the Blowfish. Nothing but time. That's not the song, but yes. Oh, Pens with a header. Nope. Slides off the top of the head. Angelini maintains possession, sends it back to Predu. Predu, ball gets away. Rolls out to Angelini. Angelini with a long cross. No one on that backside there. Everybody was scrambling for the ball. That's a big chippy play right in front of the ref. No one calls it. It's, well, there's, there's a little chirping. Be, there's, there's a discussion there's there. There's some discussion. Please be, please be nice. I know. Please be nice. Don't make me card you in secret time. Well. If we had had possession there, that would have been a carding foul if not another penalty kick. Barrera with Excellent. a nice header. Last of the Barrera reign in boys soccer. In, in soccer, soccer, I think. Well, Brooke's still a senior as well playing here in town. So yep, she's not done as, yet. As long as her run lasts and his run lasts, it's the, the once once they are done. Once the season is done. Yes, once the <coughs> once that will be the end of a Barrera soccer dynasty. Legacy. Yeah. What have we got here? Oh, we oh, have a, oh, a, card a card violation coming. Looks like on Prado. No, no, no. That's a call on Hollis. And that's going to be outside the box. Fortunate for Foxborough. Otherwise, that was a penalty kick coming. There was a lot of intertangling there. Of the wings? Yes. Wing tangling? There was, there was a lot of holding. Kentucky fried wing tangling? Yeah, they were just, you know. Wingalings? They were arm locked. They were sharing, sharing some quality time together. Axon trying to line up his men. He does. Oh, Foxborough. Oh, that ball sails all the way through. And it's going to roll if there's a guard out of bounds. It does. And Foxborough with the ball. So now we have time. Is that what they're saying? Oh, there was we a whistle. Have a substitution. Sub. substitution coming on. Out goes Penders. In Two comes Tessie. Here's the ball clock. through as Eastman sends it right to the center, but nobody can get a piece of it. Yeah. Two guys trying to yeah. flick it in. Not there. That ball up high, but out of bounds. Off Carvalho. Into the tennis courts. And that'll be Sharon Ball. Here comes the throw. Ball rolling down to the wing. They, they, they do a good job of possessing. Axon there on the six to hold on to it. That's right. And Plus he hits the, the body ground. lock. Yep. Well, you know. No, it's, it's great. It is what they should do. It's also It also takes a couple of a couple a couple more of seconds. seconds. <laughs> yes. This is... Axon is now in delay mode. Well, their their trainer. That ball years is ago, long. Cody Cropper. Davis catches up to it. Now playing for Memphis, Cody Cropper. Yeah, but his whole thing was make sure you have that ball. The, the 901. And the way you keep hold of that ball is to put your whole self on that ball. You know, Cody. Um, Cody just was. Uh, Cody. Memphis just made the playoffs in the USL. That's excellent. So, Cody is actually a I knew that. Big reason for that as the keeper there. 3:36 on my stopwatch At time. Carvalho with the header to the center, broken up by Sharon. Pacini gets a piece of that to send it back in. Nice Flaherty work. dips it over the defensive line. There goes AJ. Carvalho on the there. move. Oh. oh, and the keeper manages to get right out there yep, he was right to make there. the play. 
almost rude to snatch it like that right out of him. I, Carvalho was doing a lot of job to run, so I agree. Watch Brady out, camera ball. ball. Fan favorite ball into the stands. Quick in by Sharon now. Time. Four minutes and eight seconds. You're, what do you, oh, left? Yeah. So are no. you serious? No, 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 no. Minus that. Oh, gone? 45 seconds. Okay. Well, Pereira up the line to Tessier. Tessier slides across to the center to Hollis. Hollis to Barrera. Barrera all the way back to Linehan. Linehan with a touch. And it rolls it up and out of bounds to Carvalho, not there. Sharon with the throw. Foxborough looking to break up possession. They do. They do. Well done. Header by Linehan. Long boot by Hollis. Hollis now on the run, not there. Sharon sends it back. Flaherty gives a punch to it, not able to maintain. Barrera sends it to the middle. That ball is on the move again. That now back to the center. According to my stopwatch, it's five minutes well, and five seconds. But they've seconds. also stopped for injury time, and you don't have that in there. You know. Pacini breaks up the play. Once again. Sends it wide. Arbitrary time to the far management. side. Here comes the throw by Sharon. Ball is in. They've got a bid down the line. Cleared out by Pacini. That'll be another Sharon throw. Sharon, soft throw back. We group. Possessing, still possessing, still possessing. That ball is going to be a corner kick. So the real question is, do we come out of this? Axon taking no chances, time. putting his no. body on everything I at this agree. point. Exactly. No, he has to be that extra, one, extra Otherwise, a goal Why kick. is their goalie coming up? Because they need to make the play. No, no goal, no win. So they're bringing every. They've, they've pulled are the keeper. Are you allowed to do that? Sure you are. That's amazing. That'll do and it. And time. The, the and kick time. comes off, and that is all. Foxborough getting two Fantastic. points here tonight. Wow. Two points that they desperately need to stay in the playoff and hunt. And look at the joy you see across that field, Kevin. Foxborough won nothing. You see that they really understood how big a win this was and how, except my goodness, look at the field clearing. There are so many people here tonight. They're all still trying to get it's to their free horrific. popcorn. It's They're great. They're all still trying to get to their free popcorn. Lots of, lots of, uh, I see the, the women's soccer team. I see the the men's. Everything is doing awesome. So with the win tonight. I see the and with members the, of the football team. What's happening? I, I'm not sure yet. They're going to tell us in a second. Or we're going to see it in a second. Oh, there's a. Oh, that's going to oh, be us. That's us. Hi, here we are. How so are you, with tonight's win, yes. Foxborough needs one point in its last two games to qualify, I believe, for the state playoffs. Um, so that's so the, their loss earlier this week to North Attleboro hurts mm -hmm. for that because they have to close their season next week against Oliver Ames and Canton. And here they so come. Here the, come the, 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 meet. Come the winning team on senior night. It's always such a great uh, experience to have a win on senior night. Absolutely. Because yeah, you want to you want to be for here for your family. That's fantastic. They're cheering. You can the, hear the, them the, now. They knew that they had a lot of fans here tonight. You got you, everyone is really happy to be together. There's a lot of energy on that field, and I hope that that will carry them into the last few games of the season, because we really have, what, two more games? Well, that's what I was saying before you before, I, before you told me that. I was so coloring it up. I, you were coloring it up. So yes, there are two games He's left on the schedule. He's taking his head. Okay. He's taking his head with there him. There you go, James Hollis. James Hollis with, with his, big his head. James Hollis. <laughs> Quality time and together. Now, and now they're uh, showing it to the crowd. Because it is, again, seen senior it. night is fun. Senior night is oh, fun. They're posing they, for now a picture. There's a picture. There's a picture if you want to pan back to the crowd. I don't know if back to the if field the away from us. There, there it is. Go. Fantastic. What a great shot right there. <laughs> so with tonight's win, there are two games left. This is what I was starting to tell you before. Tonight's win, there are two games left. They Foxborough needs, I believe, although I could be wrong, and somebody will chime in and tell me, we need at least 18 points on the season in order to qualify for states. And how many do we have? We currently have 17 points, Ooh. right? So with, so the, with the loss to North Attleboro this week, we didn't pick up anything there. Okay. With the win against Taunton, which was unexpected, I think, we right. gained Huge two game. points there. Mm -hmm. So you give and take. We have to close the season next week against the meat of the Davenport division, which is first place Oliver Ames, 
who Sharon beat earlier this week. We can take it. And Canton, both at home. So Canton, we will play here on Wednesday night. Oliver Ames, they play here on Monday night. Canton, we will be back for, it's the season finale, it's also youth night. So if you're watching, and if you have a kid who's in the program who has a Foxborough Youth Soccer shirt, then by all means, bring them on down here. The Boosters program is going to feed them. You're going you're gonna to cheer your guts out for the team. And with any luck, all Foxborough needs is a win or a tie, and they're off to states. Fantastic. All right. So that's so great. So again, I thank our volunteers tonight, Stephanie Linehan, Melanie Piasecki, Jen Foley, Matt Shea, Mike Everson, Mike Weber, Judy Briggs. Kevin Penders. Netta Jury Penders. Nice to be with you tonight. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good night. Stay well. We'll see you next week.